Allah know the end for this world. Everybody they ask for something. Freedom, no. Everybody don't do the phone call. You talk on the island and do the phone call. And what is the panel you want to do? It's a new land. So. Dr. Michael, I'm very fun. But he engaged one so many times in central London. If you buy, what if I want to see, 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 I will right in front of the parliament once again. I go marry Olufelo Lu. Moki, we go alone. Thank you. Uh, it's okay. It's finished. That's all right. It's okay. Thank you so much. Which uh, media? He knows me very well. Your boss, Koiki Media. Koiki Media. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's a broadcast on website. Yeah, on yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll give you the details. Uh, can you give me? I'll give it to you in a minute. I'll give you my card now. Bear with me. Please. I'll give it to you in a minute. He normally send me email. The brother, mm. I've met him. Amir? Yeah. Amir sent you. I sent, I received email all the time from oh, him. Oh, very good. The yeah. last time I think you were in Mabulaj. Oh, Mabulaj, yes. You went to Mabulaj, is it? Yes, yes. Yeah, I couldn't make it down. Oh, you couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't, yeah. So bear with me. I'm going to give you my card now. So that in case you can watch this back on the list. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna bring this down a little bit like that. Lock this, lock this, and then uh, okay. Oh, just hold it. Just hold it. Yeah. So what time did you start? Uh, we I was, started. The, I was in number two, two, 2 p.m. Okay, I was in number ten down the street. I was reporting again. Cause there was another mm -hmm. event going on, the Pakistan, mm -hmm. right there. So. Uh, let's bring like that. So now let me give you my card. There we go. Thank you. All right. So you can watch all these on uh, this YouTube, Quickie Media, Instagram, TikTok. And your Twitter. Oh, yeah, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Twitter. Website. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not on Twitter yet, but I'm going to go live on Twitter now. So I'm going to put a little bit. I, I record already. So okay, but it's on. finished now. No, no, no. I did record it. I'm going to post that on Twitter. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Very thank good. you so much. Thank you. Well, um, we are... What's your name? Yomi. 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 It's so, here, Yomi. Yes. Yeah. So can you tell us, my viewers, uh, what are you fighting for exactly? What is it that you're fighting for? Yeah, Yomi. Yomi. Yes. Yomi. We are fighting for freedom in Iran. Free come here, come here. Come tell me quickly before you go. So yes. you are fighting for freedom. We are fighting for freedom in Iran, equality between men and women. Okay. This is in occasion of the first. Look, look at the camera. This is the, this is the uh, 
first anniversary of the Iran uh, protest. So what actually happened? Just give us a quick summary. Yes, last year, uh, after 40 years, this Mahsa Amini uh, erupted. Uh, I think we should face the parliament. Let's face the parliament. Let's face yeah. this way so that people can know that we are behind. Come here, come, come. So that we can see that we are right behind, you know, the, number, uh, the Big Ben. Now go ahead. Yes. Last year, after 40 years uh, suppression by the Iranian regime, okay. uh, uh, corruption and uh, poverty okay. and suppression, okay. the death of Mahsa Amini, Gina Amini, a young woman from Kurdistan, erupted okay. a nationwide protest. Okay, was it the, the one that was um, the air? The, yes, the uh, yes. And, yeah. uh, but uh, you know, uh, this is not hijab. Okay. You know, this is the, the oppression, problem oppression. of oppression, justice, okay. and uh, uh, women say in Iran, with hijab or without hijab, we are fighting for freedom. Okay. This is uh, going to continue, and these uh, people you can see here, they are the. Uh, from the National Council of Resistance of Iran, the okay. principal uh, movement and oh. principal. So how long, how long this movement has been going on? Yes, it's uh, uh, 40 years 40 now. Years yes, now. standing against the regime for justice. And you are not tired. You are not tired. Why are you not tired? Because, because a lot we, of people would like to know. 40 yeah, years yes. and the movement is going on. Yes, and not tired. because we love freedom. Until we get freedom, you are not we, we are fighting. So what, what is the meaning of freedom? If somebody said to you freedom, what is the meaning freedom of freedom? Freedom is that uh, you can choose your government, you can vote, and uh, there is a equality between men and women, and also uh, the ballot, uh, ballot can say everything. The ballot? The, the ballot, yes. Hmm. Ballot uh, can say everything, parliament. Okay. And freedom. This is the freedom, and you okay. can choose your the leadership, and you can change the leadership. Okay. Now this uh, movement is led by women. It's and led Mrs. by women. Yes, and Mrs. Maryam Rajavi is our leader, uh, the president of National Council of Resistance of Iran. This the, the last word. I'm gonna move away from here. Advice to anyone out there. Yes. Why it is important to fight for freedom. Go ahead. Yes. Look in the camera. Is, yes, this is uh, uh, very important to fight for freedom, freedom and support the Iranian uh, movement for uh, freedom. And this movement enjoyed the support of the majority of the uh, uh, parliamentarians here, both houses, you can see here, House of Commons and House of Lords support this movement, the majority. And recently we had the uh, uh, the uh, uh, statement by the members of parliament and 50, 525 members of both houses uh, supported this uh, uh, statement uh, supporting the, the movement and 10 point plan of Mrs. Rajavi and also the, this protest in, in Iran. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you media, bringing the world closer to your doorstep. Thank you. Wow. You just um, listen to. You can. Uh, okay, she wants to speak. No, no. Yes. yes. Tell her to come. Uh, uh, this, as this movement is led by women. Okay. Yeah, it's important. It's important we speak to women. Well, um, you know, that is the beauty of what freedom means, and this is why we are saying that we also want a kind of freedom, freedom for women, freedom from children, freedom for people with a disability. Freedom for as many people, even in the northern part of Nigeria, they need to get a freedom as well. You are watching a live transmission. This is Koiki Media live in front of the uh, Big Ben, where you know the Iranian resistance has been going on. Uh, you know, it's not the first time that we are engaging them. Uh, it's just that, that we were lucky, you know, to meet them again uh, today. As we say all the time, uh, are you of the opinion? Do you want to be free as well? If you want to be free, why not support? and endorse the Yoruba Nation campaign that is going on you know, right now so that you can be free. Why not support the Biafra that is going on so that we can be free? There is nothing like freedom in Nigeria right now. There is freedom of expression. 
there's freedom of media, there's freedom of youth, there's no freedom as we speak right now in Nigeria. And if you look at you know what has taken place today, right in front of the parliament, as long as a you know permit has been given, you can see now that they are assembling uh, as many of their equipment. They are going to pack away and they're going to go. But the message has been delivered by so many people that have passed through. When we tell you that we need to continue with our awareness physically outside. That is the reason why it's all going to be happening this coming Wednesday on the 20th of September at the New York uh, General Assembly of the United Nations where the Yoruba Mega Rally in conjunction with the Yoruba World Media, in conjunction with the Yoruba Home Base Media, we partner together with the YSDM have decided that the, the United Nations Rally uh, is going to come up again under the leadership of Professor Bangia Kitoye. So if you're living in America, it is important that you also participate. It is also important that you come out on that faithful day so that you can also uh, you know, be part of the movement for the mega rally. As we always say, uh, you know, remember that um, freedom is not going to come if you do not fight for it. That is the reason why we have also said, let me also interview quickly my sister. Thank you so much for coming to the program. This is Koichi Media. It's good to have you here. I've engaged the brother before. I didn't know that you're having it today. Maybe I missed the email. In, um, in a nutshell, uh, move closer, move closer. In the nutshell, what are you actually fighting for? Because a lot of people see people display banners, you know, you're walking around. We don't know what you're fighting for. What are you fighting for? We're fighting for what the people of Iran are fighting for, and I think that's really important that we're here to echo their voice um, to the rest of the world. The people of Iran say, down with the oppressor, whether it's the Shah, um, of the previous dictatorship or whether it's the rulers of this dictatorship. What we want is democratic change in Iran and that will bring about all of the freedoms that people of Iran have yearned for for so long. Um, freedoms that children and people of my generation hmm. haven't experienced in Iran because they've been born. I think you can take out the umbrella, so yes. I want people to see uh, yes. that we are right behind the oh. most important building. I think symbolically uh, the sun is out. Oh yes, yes you know, it's been a little <laughs> yeah. bit... Uh, re so, you, you're telling me the importance of what you want, yes. not for yourself, but in general for those back in Iran yeah. as well. Yeah. So, how do you think your outing like this, what does it really symbolize? What is it going to bring in terms of the consciousness of those that are moving around? Because every day we see things in London, yeah. we see them on the news, even though we know some of the news media don't pick them up. Sure, yeah, but yeah. what is the symbolic of this part of the event today? Well, precisely as you said, the news media is sometimes a little bit patchy in terms of coverage. Um, so part of the importance of these events is really word of mouth, you know, as well as our protests, we always set up a sort of information stand and talk to people who come by. Um, but also outside the House of Parliament, the very heart of British politics and decision making, um, we always um, get in touch with MPs um, and speak to them about what's happening in Iran. and really convey to them the, the impact that they can also have on um, decisions about policy towards Iran. Number one being to, um, to end the policy of appeasement um, with the regime. Because so long as there's conversation with them, so long as they're legitimized in the eyes of the world, the people of Iran are, are going to be suppressed. So that, that narrative really needs to flip and switch so that the people's uprising and their, um, their resistance against this regime is legitimized so that this regime um, can be overthrown by the people. Uh, I'm going to ask one more question and I want to capture these so that you'll be able to get this copy as well. Uh, once again, uh, your quit Koiki Media. We are also uh, international correspondent for Star Radio UK. Like you said, it's not the first time I'm engaging the brother. Uh, we've had a few previous meetings and I do receive correspondence from you. Yeah. All day. I think the last time you were in Mabulaj. Yeah, we had a uh, exhibition. I couldn't, there, I couldn't yeah. make it down there, but it's good to catch up with you. So I'm going to move behind the camera. You just look in there. And then um, the question that I'm going to ask now is, 
How important do you think that these democracy that you're doing because this is not violent this is a peaceful conversation yeah. how is it going to be an impact to many british and those that are living in the united kingdom mm -hmm. to also be able to know your plight because without knowing your plight they might not be able to feel your feelings sure well um as I said, I mean, one of the most important things that we do to get information out to the public is really word of mouth. It's you and me standing here having a conversation times by, you know, 100 people who come by. Um, and we always find that the British public are incredibly sympathetic to our plight. Um, and they also ask, what is it that we can do? Um, to which, you know, we tell them, you know, speak to your MPs. It really comes down to things as basic as that because, you know, MPs serve their constituencies and their constituents. Um, so just speaking to them, again, telling them that you can, for example, raise this question in um, Parliament. You can put the question forward to the Prime Minister of, you know, what, what are the actions, what are the tangible actions that you're going to take to... Uh, to hopefully help cease the existence of this regime even a day longer and there's things you know like ending the policy of appeasement and legitimizing and recognizing the people's resistance against um, the regime um, but also for, at the moment prescribing the IRGC which is the regime's number one muscle and suppressive force against the people the IRGC that are in the streets every day shooting, gunning people down for protesting or ent um, entering their homes and dragging people off um, to prison. Just a few days ago on the, on, you know, the anniversary of the September 22 uprising, uh, which was triggered by the killing in custody of Mahsa Amini, just a few days ago her father was also arrested um, in order to put fear into him, in order to shut him up and not speak out about his daughter who was murdered by the IRGC. Um, so yeah, these are all steps that we speak to people about. These are basic things as simple as speaking to their MPs, writing a letter or an email. Of course, everyone now has a smartphone these days, just a quick five minute email. That's a big step forward. Thank you so much. And your name again? Uh, Rana. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Well, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to send these um, to to him, yeah. uh, but I can also, I think I can still have, that is my card there. So what you do, send me a message, mm -hmm. and then I will send you a copy of the recording as well for your sure. own use as well. Oh, okay. And then uh, what we might do, we might engage further, I might have to bring you on the radio trust card so that you can come and talk to the African community mm -hmm. so that we can be aware mm -hmm. of more of this flight. Sure, Thank okay, I'll do that, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, uh, we've been listening to, uh, you know, part of the representative of the, just uh, concluded, they're packing up now. That is what democracy is all about. This is the kind of freedom that we are asking. This is the kind of what we expect to happen in a civilized society. Nigeria is not civilized yet. Nigeria is backward, is not moving forward, but we must continue to highlight the danger. It's just coming up to 4 p.m. Uh, on the Big Ben right there, as you can see, 4 p.m. local time. Agomeri, Oulosha Luni, Ulu London, Nibiti, Atimu, Etoiwa, Fungubuwa. Lankan, Moni, Apegba, Ikwe. Boni, Tolikwe, Weda, Enche, Kaba, Kaba, Weda, Enche, Dadi, Enche, Agomeri, Oulosha, Enlu. As you can see right there, it's 4 o'clock. Uh, that is 4 o'clock, uh, we say 1600 hours. So, uh, as you need be just one hour. After one hour, then we're going to start moving. Uh, London is a very beautiful place, as you can tell. There's a lot of activities going on, uh, depending on uh, what part of London you are or what part of England uh, you are presently. So, it's a very uh, Mandela as it to so many times. And Mandela at some point, all the, all the way down, Mandela was called a terrorist, but eventually all that has now changed today. So, Intawagbedani is not terrorism. Uh, it is something that is unique. 
and that is the uniqueness of this movement. Uh, we don't have to wait for everybody. Any to be ready, Adarakpo Mawa. Any to be ready, no. It doesn't matter. Uh, once again, as you can see, they are packing up. Uh, they've done. Whether it is Jadi representing Simukin, that's the Indian. Where is you know Iranian standing up and voicing for alternative action, freedom of thought, freedom of expression, freedom of religion, democracy for women, women's rights in United Kingdom. Thank you so much, Waris Junodu. Shout out to those of you on our TikTok. Uh, once again, it is a very, very bright, beautiful uh, day. And let's see if we can uh, bring you some kind of a nice, nice, uh, you know, background conversation. Uh, let's see. I think uh, we can have something. On the 20th, we are very, very important. When this collapse comes, and it's going to come, we in the UK are going to need to have some serious reflection on mistakes that have been made and especially our foreign policy in history. And we're going to have to rely on these nations that we've been stealing from for years to deal with us because we need them. We're not like Russia. We're not self-sufficient. Russia has its own oil, its own food, its own air. It doesn't have to import anything. It can survive without the world. We, a tiny little island, do not have that luxury. We need to import. That's why we've stolen so much shit in the history. So, what happens, do you think, in the next decade, as African countries are rising and getting more powerful, and the Western countries that had them under their heel for so long, like the UK where I live, are on the way down and their economies are collapsing? What help do you think we're going to get from those, out of those countries that are becoming more powerful? How do you think that the Africans are going to look towards the English with regards to trade deals and buying their uranium off them if we need to. They're not going to look too kindly, are they? Especially if there's absolutely no apologies whatsoever. And as far as I can tell, this country doesn't apologise for jack shit. And the reason it doesn't apologise is because if it apologised for the stuff that it's done, it would have to start giving back all of the stuff that it's stolen. I've spent hours inside the British Museum. That place is an absolute... It's a treasure trove. And it's nearly all nicked. And we're going to have to, in the UK, really start looking at our place in the world and really start looking as to whether we really do value the things that we say we do. I saw somebody earlier saying, you know, this is what the West do. They just play pretend. It's no wonder. It's no wonder the West now accepts a man being a woman if he just identifies as one. Because we in the UK have been identifying as a nation that is on the side of law and order. A nation that values free speech as it's censoring everybody. A nation that values freedom of the press and is a shining light and a beacon for freedom of the press throughout the world whilst it's literally torturing the best journalists the world has ever seen in its capital. We say we are these things. Our government says them all the time. The diplomats are like that. But it's just all hot air. Nothing we do as a country backs up what these people are saying the country is. Nothing. I love my country and that's what I want my country to turn into, to be. It's, I think it's the most patriotic thing a person can do. But when I talk about these things, people call me a Putin pot. 
They've been propagandized to such a degree. They don't know their allies when they meet them. And we've got some serious, serious apologizing to do in this country. To all of these nations that we have stolen from, to all of these nations whose leaders we've helped assassinate and overthrow, all of these coups that we've done around the world in countries just because we didn't like what they did. So we killed them and we overthrew them and we put in a dictator who created the secret service and was just brutal to the people in that country. We didn't care. As long as we carried on getting the oil. We're meant to be a country that cares about these things, that cares about truth and honesty and justice. This country... Là, quand c'est moqué, Bogoa prides itself on the UK justice system. Justice system. Well, there's no greater injustice in this world right Shout now than the imprisonment of Julian Assange. Shout and we're the ones doing it in the UK. So we have just about another one hour. The weather is not very And to beautiful. all those people in Africa, rise, rise up. up. You're gonna rise I'm up. I'm in the West and I'm fighting for you. And I tell you, rise up. we really are. The people in the country, the people in the UK, the people in this chat in the UK who know the truth, we're on your side. Everybody knows the truth anyway. We want our country to be the things that it says it is and it's clearly not. It's not. And I really do wish to see the rise of Africa in my lifetime. I would love to see it. Well, Africa needs to rise up. And we're seeing at the moment the rise of Russia and China. I'd love Africa to go with that as well. But this is not good for the West, especially if we carry on. Well, I just want to leave you with this thought. The revolutionary government in Niger has just increased the price of uranium that it exports on the world market to 200 euros per kilogram. It was previously paying, or rather charging, 80 cents. The French were getting Niger's uranium for 80 cents per kilogram. And the world market price is 200 euros per kilogram, which is what little Macron will have to pay from now on. You see, it pays to stand up. Just stand up for your rights. Stand up for your rights. That's what the people in Niger have done. It remains to be seen. Well, we are still live here and we are just, um, you know, enjoying the weather. We are going to kill
Eh, 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 nak kalau mahu pakai ni, eh, seorang tiba tiba besar dengan sape, London lawa, I feel alright, lah orang curi ni, eh he, eh he, eh he, ni betul je sih kini deh, awak dia tu sahun wa, eh, London no lawa, eh, orang tiba tu orang bade bila, lo mama tak punya freedom, eh jangan tuan ni ni jari, mesti pergi Josi, ijo walara ni, kau sanggup Joni, alu mama sanggup Joni. Eni ba fepe wale studio number Jamie Laxin oni koi ki carry go eja ka eja ka tuwa oni mi eja ka tuwa oni mi mumbo a oni bi tumba yuruba ne shoni a play a oni loni a oya oya Arabani eja go Araba Arabani Arabani go wo Tu bati piti bawa she, awak istimewa mana? She leh tiku ni. Pak bank isi, aku yer ni. Oh ya, bos okey, mufet jodi esi. Oh ya, mufet josi, ijo walarami. Bodi bawa ni bawa, oh ya kaya jo jo jo, kilo she leh, aku kongsi tani. Oh dah, oh dah aku call mufet wale, eja aku call. Lato bus state, oh ya bawa solo. Egg bones, okay, I'm going to go my own boy. I'm going to go. Hello, hello, I'm going to send a video. Okay, tell me how we video now. I'm going to go. 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 Stika wa amagbo yi Ke wa so kilan kwe ni freedom lo do ti e Ah Oma uru ki ni fe mou mi di e o Yen ko rafi kono ba e Chorita wan tu ban lo to ban kodja kole ma ri kwe Ah tatu lele ike Ma wa ma shala yi fun wan kwe Awa yoruba nation ni o Awa yoruba nation Oma yon kwe yoruba nation Yoruba nation Yoruba nation Ori la ti wa ye Oh, to buy by la ma fu fu la ning pa wa o chera o ba ti wan jay woro bo woro bo lo ju ti ti e ja gbo o ba sanjo o ya kilo sa fu o o ya gbo so ki o ba sanjo kilo sa fa o ba wa le chale to play o ya Kilo itu loud di sini tapi, obat sanjau kilo sile itu loud. Eh asyik. Kini kau sapu mo? Eh jide? Eh jide? Eh jide? Eh jide? Oh jide? Eh obat sanjau sini kau mada oba, oba le yuruba. Ayah kau ayah kau ayah cipai cipai. Eh obat sanjau. Abang, ibu abang isen komen dah oba. Eh, pe ayat tiba je. Eh, je kat Jodi asik kat tu mana lor jari. Umi ati tong. Abang buat apa sonda ni tak? Eh, je kat pada si. Oh ya, sister Janet. Lelaki tu muk muk kokong. Lelaki tu kok. Kilo saya tu kau lau, kilo sile. Awai, awai ye ti mu fon, ati mu sandi yo, ajak bang kau kau mau. Eh, kilo saya siwa ini, ini aye. Eh, biar kita kau ikut Johnny Central London. Eh, kau tu mana Johnny berapa macam sofu? Walai, apa macam sofu lu? Kita jalan tu ya bang suki kilo sile. Eh, kau timbal dia dia.
Download it, number. I just call our one to share. Kilo share the video now. I just call go. I just call go. Ah, battery not in low level. So I'm a meter and what's the light? But no, I keep going and consequently, uh, in one mad do not. But she just can't make bad only lay, lay, lay. Only lay, okay. I'm a deep elite about daily problem. The problem is that the problem is London. So I'm a deep elite about daily. Like I'm not proud, but you're a nation one. If it's about one, it's a good or proud, but we're going to be a good one. I'm not 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 going to be a good one. Ben, I'm feeling underground. I'm trying to walk a bit. I'm a bit lady, but you can't do that. Bossing power, so that bossing power, eh? Big Ben. I want to buy. I want to buy. No, I'm not going to buy. I'm not going to buy. This is going to be our last track, and we're going to bring the program to an end. Hey. Anissa, Ebawa, Kiko, Wosha. Sunday. Oh, my day, money, doctor. Oh, my day, 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 I don't know. I Ati Jimmy Gold, Ati Queen Queen Shark Queen Queen Shark and Shaka. Eh? Eh, make up for you, Tony. Tony Lowo. Oh, big, oh, big delay. That's what I did. Let me see. Oh, good to be. I got it now. I got it now. Emma, we, I'm going to show you two points, Tony and you. Oh yeah.
Advertise. virus. America. Weary. Lord join the one for Ali. Yaweri. Virus woman. Wale Ali. Yeah, the city team. You then joke was only YouTube. Yeah, I need it. And now I'll take by your revenue. Go let Bassi. I'm from Pasta. Hey. Baba Kitoye. My sister in Yoruba World Media. Emma Shishello. I beg you. Yoruba Home Base Media. Emma Bashello. Yedara. Emma Bashello. Oh, Jamila. Oh, me, you call me. I'm not bad. 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 Ida jo mbo fu gbo yan ba yen o ku die ni Lo ba lo ba lo ye lo ye yoruba o gba won yan ni jaye kiri olopa lo se lo lo yan security o wa important o ba je la ye olupo ko won ni fire alarm eh n do ba ti gbo pe bon wa wa drive lo sibe 6 minutes o ma so ri ti ye ba je o to a fe terrorist ni ba eh a fe terrorist ni ba mo ke won biafra eh Mandela ni eh, wak beni terorisi. Oh ni eh ni silo ane. Mandela ni eh, dia tu pun dia ni tujuh tu boleh. Tujuh silo. Shebi, Shebi, Shebi. Eh dia kalau Mandela kat rumah lo. Maju lo Mandela. Maju, maju mo apa dah sila bapa ni ni. Shebi. Shebi, Shebi. Eh, what are you doing? Oh, shut my mouth. I just got a key, man. Delao. Triple the arrest. No key. We're going to have a new police. I want to make a fast track. Oba, Oba, so just to book book mobile. Shebi, Shebi, Shebi. Last one, don't touch the one in the Nigeria. Nibo, Shebi, Shebi. He did a lot for Jojo Mbere. Oh yeah. Shuba, I mean, he ran off for Jojo Mbere. Hey, para Mandela Lori. Mandela ni Sherry. Statue Mandela. Nigba kwa. Walk with Mandela. Bookie Pastor. Pastor Mo. Eja fi mira. Sherry Mandela ni. Mandela, ma jolo Mandela. Now, Sherry go go and see. I'm on Safu Pe. Yoruba Nation, the Kondole she. So that I can go and see Mandela. Go so look at the work we. Work we ni ori siri so look at. Work we ni old day. Old day belle, we give an allegation. So we Mandela so ori. But let me. That way, our agency will do such. O tu afesi parliament, so our tea, our dedicated. Eje koma kuwaru kuto ba wuma problem tu wani yeye. Kuto ba ya laka yewa mashi wani understanding tagbedani. So bi tama apariye tu tenisi. Eunua ni lati e ni statue Mandela. E ma jolo Mandela, ma jolo Mandela, muaki bubuwa. Pata pata, we are set up a mui. Aso aso wo, aso aso mo, aso asi alafia. May Nigeria not happen to you and me. My name is Olayomi Koiki. Oru kori shiri shiloti kwe Mandela.
Sorry, Mandela. Only she should call out the Walk with the terrorists. Walk with this. Walk with that. But eventually, Lenny Mandela was the king. Who did the icon? See, you can wear force. That is best to do. What should you do? One, the choice. Eh, but she genuine. Eh, you came in on my lolly pada. You see, Moshe, you told that she almost five hours. That you are in central London. Mudu pelo, yami Grace. Olu shoto, yawa pastor mo. Mr. Kunle, Emperor Mokini, Moki will go into our lower Instagram, Moki into our lower TikTok. Happy Sunday. I shock my lord, Mr. Adeto, Moki, Moki, I told him, I got me triple the arrest. Mushawa, I told him, I like you, I shot a re. I don't think I like it. They like it. I like it. I love you, fashion designer of our time. I want to know Mr. Koiki. I'm afraid I can look nice. The London, Eva Lossibe, Omita Culture, Lord Instagram, Bubunteba, Washifu Inibe, Turipe, or Boro, we really see what Lara, and if we all find Lara, I mean, I can move that about, carry that. I could find, I could find Lara, so I lost sorry, Omita Culture. Thank you so much, Mokini Le, Bubente, and Benin, Nigeria. And you call it problem. And we'll show you the problem at our ballet Yoruba. Or look at the mini or la yomi koiki. See, go boy, I'm on see koiki media. And I can play Antemua, Katuma, Law, to replay Ali Shiko Totoi. Come out, play Antemule Yoruba. Antemia no luma de ringtone. Lodja Waju, Ashe Maya Bola Pony, Mokiwa Lata, Ijaya Jaya, Kunle Bakers, who went in Badaruko. Emma Fishidino, and the Capri Antemia, Nava Masope, Odabo. Thank you so much. Have a blessed Sunday. Hope you enjoy Sunday broadcast. Oh, yeah. Lenny Mandela, the body screenshot, the band screenshot. Happy birthday, happy birthday. <laughs> Yoruba Nation, now, now, now. Have a good Sunday. Bye for now.